I thought I'd uh, explain a bit about how I went about doing the rainbow hair. Um, it all started just by a chance comment on June's page when she showed the original sketch of the hair. I just said in the comment that I could see it in stitch. So she said, go for it. So I didn't need a second invitation. So uh, I thought about it for a couple of days and then got stuck in. So let's bring you in so you can actually see. Sorry, you're back to front, but uh, let's turn it around so you can. That was the original sketch when I just downloaded a picture and printed it off. Um, I obviously wanted to do it bigger than that and with it being so small it was a bit um, difficult to see all the detail. So what I did was enlarge it and then I printed it off. Now the advantage of doing it like this was that it gave me a chance to actually see the colours in it. So the next thing was I was going to do a mixture of crayon colour enhanced with stitch. So I've got some fabric um, crayons but you don't need to use fabric crayons. I use them because um, I've got them. I uh, got them when the children were quite small and we did um, stuff with them. Um, but you can use just ordinary children's colouring crayons. Um, so what I did I got myself a little swatch. So I made sure that the crayons were in the box and numbered them so I knew which order they were. Tried them out to test the colours and those were the ones in the box and you can see numbers beside them, the ones I was going to use. And then these were the colours here that I took out of just the, the crayon box to make up the ones that I needed. So once I did that, this is Calico and that's what I use for the stitching. So got my Calico. I transferred the outlines to the Calico. I added the colour in crayon. So when it first started it looked a bit like scribble on fabric. Uh, and this is where you just need to trust your instinct because it was a bit scary and I thought it's never going to look any good with the way it was. But by the time I got to the rainbow I knew it was going to be working. Well actually before then once to start colouring the hair. So uh, though it is densely stitched there are bits of fabric showing through the hair. Um, you've got colour showing through the stitch in here. Um, that's all straight stitch in various lengths and um, crossing over each other. I've used a technique called tweeding which is two different colour threads in the needle and what it does especially here and on the hair it just helps the different colour sections to blend in. You're not getting a solid colour here it was two threads of the same colour in the needle. So a running stitch all the way down. We've got a little starburst here and French knots. French knots come into it a lot. Used um, split stitch to outline the hair. Tiny bit of satin stitch for his eye. Stem stitch for these stems and again French knots. Um, and the French knots were done in two strands of the same colour and they're just dotted around. Once it's finished it was damp stretched. Um, I may actually do a video on that for the um, Ask Loopy um, session this month to see how it goes. It is covered in um, the cross stitch class about damp stretching and why I do it and what it does and it allows you to get your fabric straight and flat back to its original condition without having to put an iron on it. Put an iron on it and you start flattening your stitches. 
So that's the story of the hair. So now um, on my to-do list he's going to be mounted and framed. So uh, he will be making a reappearance at some stage, hopefully in the not too distant future, but uh, it's definitely not on the list for this week. So that's the hair. That technique of the crayon and embroidery I am going to use again. It will be a basis of a class, so um, if you're interested do let me know. You sign up to the Create With um, Loopy newsletter, you'll get the details of it first. Um, and you also get the chance to take what, the free class too. So I'm looking forward to doing that. That's coming up next week. I'm going to start working on that. So uh, I look forward to sharing that with you. Mm -hmm.